There is chaos, in fact, back in Washington, D.C. right now with the federal government now partially shut down. It became official at midnight. Lawmakers will be back at it today to try to come to an agreement. So here's where things stand right now. Roughly 800,000 federal employees will not be getting paid during this shutdown. More than half of them will still have to report to work. The rest are being furloughed. That means they won't go to work, but they also won't get paid. And several, seven federal agencies are no longer being funded by the government, including Homeland Security and the Justice Department. But because it's a partial shutdown, several agencies will stay open, and that includes the post office. So good news, your packages will still be delivered ahead of Christmas. So among the questions, how did this happen? Is there any hope of a deal anytime soon? Who's to blame? NBC's White House correspondent, our colleague on the North Lawn, Jeff Bennett, has the very latest this morning. Jeff, good morning. Peter, Kristen, good morning. President Trump said he'd be proud to own a shutdown over the border wall, and now he's got one. This is the third government shutdown on President Trump's watch. As lawmakers fail to reach an agreement over border wall funding, the president is demanding. And with days left before Christmas, there's little sign as to just when or how Trump and congressional leaders will manage to find their way through the stalemate. This morning, Americans are waking up to a federal government that's partially shut down, with Congress at an impasse over President Trump's $5 billion border wall demand. Congress already approved funding for about 75% of the government, but about a dozen major agencies are dark this morning. During the shutdown, at least 800,000 government employees will not receive their expected paychecks, with Christmas coming fast. It shouldn't be um, that I have to worry about uh, when I'm going to get paid. Depending on how long it, it is, we may not be able to have certain things during the holidays. Roughly 420,000 government workers deemed essential employees will still be expected to work without pay, including TSA agents and air traffic controllers, U.S. Customs and Border Protection agents, also U.S. Marshals, FBI agents, Coast Guard employees, and Forest Service firefighters. They'll likely be paid retroactively when the government reopens. Another 380,000 will be furloughed or forced to take unpaid leave until the shutdown ends. It all comes at the hands of a president clinging to a campaign promise, a border wall, and abandoning the deal lawmakers had already reached to fund the government. Earlier Friday, Mr. Trump pointed the finger at Democrats. It's up to the Democrats, so it's really the Democrat shutdown. A reversal from what he said proud, just days ago. I am proud to shut down the government for border security. I will be the one to shut it down. I'm not going to blame you for it. Democrats have said all along they will not fund Trump's border wall. President Trump, you will not get your wall. Abandon your shutdown strategy. Add to that CNN discovering a 2015 radio interview in which incoming White House Chief of Staff Mick Mulvaney criticized Trump's border wall. But to just say build the darn fence is absurd and almost childish. With no clear path forward, the president tweeted this video late Friday night. Let's get out, let's work together, let's be bipartisan, and let's get it done. The shutdown hopefully will not last long.